the format of the robot. We've all had our fair share of experiences with terrifying commercial mascots. The little baby's ice cream monster, the sponge monkeys from Quiznos, etc. I had my own experience of seeing one of these creepy mascots haunt my dreams. I almost forgot about this, until I saw it on a top 5 creepy mascot video on YouTube. As I watched it, many miserable memories flooded my brain, and I have been bottling it up for way too long now. The story is still fresh in my mind to this day. It was late at night back in, I think 2010 or 2011. I was about 6 at the time, and was visiting my aunt's house, and I was watching TV inside. I was watching a movie at the moment until it went to a commercial break. That's when everything went downhill. A tall oak tree with white leaves appeared on the screen. The ticket oak. It had giant bulging green eyes and one was extremely crooked, and he had human-like teeth. I screamed and cried as he was on the screen. He was innocent and harmless but, it just made me cry to look at him. My father rushed in the room wondering probably. What the heck is wrong? I was hiding under a blanket, terrified of this thing. Dad shut the TV off, and we left a little bit after, so I could go to sleep. I tried to fall asleep but couldn't. I felt sick to my stomach, my heart was racing and I felt faint. All I could see was that stupid tree just gazing at me. Looking straight at me while his right eye rolled to the back of his head. He was laughing as his other eye spun in circles, as he then threatened to kill me if I screamed one more time. I woke up, still screaming, and with my underwear fully damp from peeing myself because I was so scared. I covered up the TV in my room with a blanket because I was so scared. I still just saw that monster in my nightmares, and it got even worse. I was at my grandparents to stay the night while my dad was on a business trip. They had one of those 80s TVs because they could never buy a new one. I was falling asleep with the TV on, and later at like maybe 2 a.m. when I woke up to pee and came back, that abomination was right there on the screen. The TV was making loud noises, glitching and staticky from being so old and nearly broken. He would zoom in and out as the screen glitched and shook violently, and then he spoke this. I have children crying for you. Join me. I screamed even more, and couldn't sleep for another two hours. Now as a young adult, more than likely there was more to it than just the ticket oak, calling out for me to join him and his cell full of children and more, so the ad skipping over bits of dialogue from being so old, but this scared the hell out of me when I was younger. A few months later, my dad took me to counseling for the whole ticket oak ordeal. My counselor asked me to draw a tree and memories of them. I guess to see if there's a specific reason the tree scared me aside from his face. Like a bad memory associated with a tree. I drew three pictures and gave it to her, and she assumed I was lying, and demanded I drew a new set of pictures. I never did. I remember the three pictures being these. 1. A picture of me and my friend watching TV, while my parents were out at the store, and a big tree was outside the yard. 2. We went outside to play hide and seek, and my friend hid in this hole my dad made to make a small pond. 3. I was the seeker, and to make it difficult to hide, I grabbed a shovel and piled up the pit with dirt. Unaware he was inside. I only realized after that he was in there. When I heard his muffled screams and then, silence. I never spoke out about it. His parents came asking where he was, I said he was leaving, and with none of my parents home at the time, no one could find out. I couldn't bear to live with myself for a while. I guess the tree from the ad, reminded me of the tree he was buried by. I still remember his green and wandering eye. I repressed the thoughts of the ticket oak, and the manslaughter for so long, albeit mostly because they'd never forgive me. But now, whenever I see those ads, I just see his face on that tree every time I look, there's only one monster in this story now I remember it all, not the ticket oak. It's me.